Now you might have heard of compressing files in zip or RAR format, but you can actually achieve more compression by using the 7-zip format. Here is a quick comparison of a file I tried to compress in different compression formats. The original size of the file was 344 kilobytes. Using the zip compression format, I was able to achieve a compressed size of 308 kilobytes. With RAR, it was at 307 kilobytes, while with 7-zip, it was the lowest at 305 kilobytes. If you want to open 7-zip format files or you want to compress files using the 7-zip compression, you'll need to install an app which will let you do that. The one I recommend is called Z Archiver and it's available for free on the Google Play Store. And here is how you can compress files using Z Archiver. You open the app and locate whichever folder the file is in. So mine was already in download, so I'm gonna go back. And then I'll just have to tap on the file. And then you get this menu and I'm gonna select compress here. This will give me a variety of options. The first field here refers to what you want your compressed file to be called. And I'm gonna keep it same here. However, if you want, you can always change it. The second field is the archive format and you need to make sure that you have set it to 7z if you want it to be compressed in the 7zip format. And you can always change the compression level. If you have really large files, you can go with ultra. However, it will take a little bit more time for it to compress or uncompress that file. You can choose how you want your encryption to be done as well. So right now it's set to data. However, you can always opt for data and file names to be encrypted. And then you can set a password as well if you want. Once you're done setting that up, just select OK. Now you have your compressed file in 7-zip format. If you want to open a compressed file, all you have to do is just tap on the file and you'll get the menu where you need to select view. If you want to view the contents of the file, you can always tap on it once more, which will let you open the file or you have the option to extract the file as well. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to open the file and then it will give you the option to select whichever software you want to open it with. So let's try the drive PDF viewer and see if it works. And I have the PDF file now opened directly from the 7-zip archive file. Now going back, if I want to, let's say, extract the file, I just have to tap again. And instead of viewing, I can do extract here. I can do extract to the archive folder, or I can extract to a different location as well. If you want to test, you can always test the integrity by just selecting it and it says archive does not contain any errors. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any kind of questions or if you have any other compression utility that works better, do let me know through comments. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.